going through us the new black ops 6 version of call of duty we want to see how it is and we're currently gonna go watch through this video to see how it is and see if it's good if there's anything new in store for us for warzone multiplayer all those kind of things we want to see new movement new everything hopefully audio fixes i hope you guys enjoyed this video click the like button subscribe to the channel and comment down below what changes would you like to see on black ops 6. Tell me if it's loud enough, Chip. Well, that's how you get demonetized. Black Ops storylines was always good, though. Low key, Chip. Am I tripping? Like, Black Ops? It's always been good, Chip. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, Mr. We're excited to share what we've been working on for the past few years. For Black Ops 6, we really wanted to give ourselves the time to craft something truly great. This means we're delivering a new level of polish and innovation. I don't want to see the trailer. I want to see what they've done that's new on this game. ...across all parts of the game. I've been working here for over 20 years, and I can tell you that we have something special on our hands with Black Ops 6. I know that the team are excited to give you a deep dive into our campaign and global innovation oh. across the entire game. You know what? They should do an interactive execution where if someone gets executed, get the, um, the ability to counter it. If you are there in the moment. Tell me that's a bad idea. I don't think so. With Black Ops 6, we're taking players to a new but familiar era, the early 90s. In true signature Black Ops fashion, what guns is early 90s said? AK-47. AK, you. Investing players into a conspiracy where a shadowy force has infiltrated the highest levels of the U.S. government. Branding anyone who resists as traitors and forcing players to go rogue for the first time to fight the very machine that created them. The team has been meticulously crafting every aspect. Think about it. If you someone hits you in the face, attitude players expect from the Black Ops franchise. Of course, here and brings the Black Ops style and provides a playground for the brand new Omni Movement System. New way to push beyond your limits and move like an action hero. You'll see a sneak peek of that later today. Round-based zombies is absolutely back and better than ever. And you can be sure it's full of surprises. I think round based zombies was the best version of zombies. Not the current open world zombies. The idea was cool, but I don't think they pulled it off. I think round based zombies, the way the zombies was made in World at War is the best kind of zombies. That's what I think. What I think. Sub Taylor, how you doing, buddy? Uh, what do I do for a living? I'm a network uh, voice engineer. Oh, voice network engineer. With our partners at Raven. No turning back now. Campaign said, are we, are we getting, it said, WC said if we're getting, if we're getting the new, we new Call of Duty. Black Ops 6, we were focused on delivering missions so iconic that they stick in your memory long after. We are bringing that action-packed blockbuster feel to every step of the narrative. We are giving you more variety, more dynamic moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, and more options to finish each mission. The game is packed with unexpected moments of Black Ops mystery. It's a high octane spy thriller where you're never sure who to trust and what's real. And it's all set against the backdrop of the early 90s. Sup, Tess, and I do, buddy. What I do for a living? Voice, the only remaining super network engineer. The Gulf War was dominating headlines everywhere. And there was and you? growing mistrust in government reflected everywhere across the music, television, and pop culture of the time. Black Ops was my, one of my favorite Call of Duty stuff. Black Ops 6 comes after the events of the Cold War, but is directly tied to the 1986 flashbacks. In I must start play X of I don't like I don't like it, um, women. I tried it out. Some you should see. Black Ops 6 blends the rich and gritty history of previous franchise titles with bold new characters. Ooh. With veteran Frank Woods as our through line. And our they said bold new characters. The guy in the middle was literally bold in that video, Chet. Did you guys see? In 
this new chapter, we see a different side of Woods following his traumatic injury at the hands of Raul Menendez. He's been pulled from the field as he adjusts to a new role within the CIA. Hey, hey Nikki. Behind a desk or on the other end of a radio. His protege is Troy Marshall, who's been making a name for himself in the field. Marshall is a reluctant leader driven by a strong moral compass. Marshall and Woods are working with another new face in Black Ops 6, CIA handler Jane Harrow. She's a born leader, fearless and brilliant, and helps manage their relationships within the agency. Woods' ability to operate in the shadows has always been hugely valuable hey, to the CIA, whether they want to admit it or not. How's up? How's the mic? Ability to make tough calls in the field, ones that. So will you be making the decisions as a but as a team? When an operation goes wrong, Woods and Marshall are suspended and ultimately forced to go rogue. They soon realize they have to trust each other to get to the bottom of what's going on. Without any of their usual resources, they have to build their own team, recruiting two exciting new characters in Felix Newman, a technical genius, and Savati Dima, a mysterious assassin. With the end of the Cold War, these former enemies have become new allies. And with the sudden return of notorious operative Russell Adler, who'd gone missing for months, a former ally may have become a new enemy. Ooh, Ted, who's not on our side anymore? What's up, Ender? How you doing, buddy? How much does my setup cost? A lot of money. ...mission variety and unique experiences. Our goal was to offer players a wide variety of... They're giving the whole plot away? Hopefully not. I think that's just a base story. ...crafted from the ground up. One moment you'll be storming a palace, the next you'll be pulling off a heist at a casino. We aim to take players all over the world and immerse them. How many of you guys actually care about the storyline of this game? Just low key. Immerse them in vastly different experiences. Within the game, you can play to unfold in multiple ways, giving players the freedom to navigate through them as they see fit. Where we have different combat styles, we also have conversation opportunities where you can talk, barter, and manipulate your way into different experiences and we think you'll want to replay levels to see them all look the last um war zone uh called modern warfare 3's math campaign was asked like I, I can't comprehend or explain how cuck it was it said it was so bad it was so freaking bad it said i i or i one one day play through that you can ask my chat how how fucking tired I look after going like two uh, like two hours into it. Hey bro. Hey! Really love the BO2 campaign and excited to see Woods again. Hey bro. Woods in, Woods went mal, my bro. What did my thought that I do? Yo, what did my thought was sniping my ass of last night, shit. to offer a variety of different enemy types in the campaign. The goal was to provide <laughs> <my challenges God. laughs> Whether they choose to no. go guns blazing. They'll make a player take selfier approach. Line them up right, you can take them both down with one shot. I love pistol missions in call in Warzone in Call of Duty. Pistol missions is the best possible in terms of power enemy combatants. So is our accurate you are. Your enemies will be I don't like the sniper ones. Constantly seeking to outmaneuver you throughout the levels. But cut off escape routes, push on players' location, and force them to think on their feet. Are we still talking about the campaign here? We've created certain missions where we give you a high level objective. In a variety of ways to approach that objective. One mission in particular takes place in a vast desert in Iraq. You and your team are hunting down missile launchers with the SAS. It's one of the largest campaign maps that we've ever created. Look alive, people! They know we're coming! Woo! Is my game sound too loud, Chet? Game sound too soft, Chet? You must let me know. Oops! of this game to deliver the fun and attitude players expect from the Wait. Most it was the somewhere only remaining superpower the golf war was dominating headlines everywhere and there was a growing mistrust Did I rewind? reflected everywhere across I bet. The music television I bet it's it. a variety of ways it's one of the as well in southern europe playing contrast and look and feel as well we Nikki, aren't you supposed to be at work what's up andre Ach, andrew who's so everybody in southern europe it's unlike any past mission in Call of Duty. And what the player does in this space is totally unexpected. And another one of our missions we have set in the harsh tundra of North Let's literally tell you all the missions that's in the game you're gonna buy. <laughs> to hype you up. 
Okay, I'm starting to see Nikki's point there. We're excited to offer an array of brand oh new my word. as well as some favorites from the Black Ops universe. RCXD, tranquilizer. Once again, work okay. Adrenaline stem. Uh, wait, what's a adrenaline? Oh, oh no. Oh no, why are they doing that to throwing knives? Chat, oh my word. You see these demons already on Warzone doing 360s and flipping doing somersaults while they're flipping trying slide cancel breaking your camera. Now they have a knife that's gonna explode your whole team holding hands. Oh, flipping good luck. What's up, Aldiano? Hi, everybody. Now they got a flipping. You know, it's Saturday morning. They throw knives at you. campaign hub called the Safe House. You might remember we also had that in Black Ops Cold War. But this time, we wanted to think a little bit more broadly about the environment. Can you remember when they explained that the feces had amazing AI build for the feces? Can anyone, can anyone remember that scene, chat? Where Call of Duty was like, we've built this new AI for our feces. I can't be the only one. I can't be the only one who remember that. Chat, I'm just saying. We chose to have our team's hub located in a more naturalistic setting. So, it's Thank you, Mike, in a that's abandoned up. manner by an ocean cliffside. Hey, Junior, how you doing, buddy? What's most unique is that it used to be a campaign a cuck. It was cuck. black site, which was operational during the 50s and 60s. This it brings a lot shit. of intrigue to the safe house and will allow players to explore and discover secrets from the past. The team is all... Remember they hyped, overhyped the uh, rocket cheat? But bro, that's a scam. Also, the company f stole their money. <laughs> the company stole their money, bro. The the safe house experience, but with brand new upgrades. Players can view the campaign outline, game uh, Friday, and missions, and analyze evidence collected throughout missions. Make sure you got enough money. Okay, the attacker comes in. I'll go. Three, two, one, go. Oh. That was sick. Great. I think we got it. With Black Ops 6, our goal is to create a more connected experience that keeps players immersed across every single mode. Whoa! We push Whoa! at every corner to innovate and craft. Whoa! No way you gotta jump like that, Chad. So we gotta jump like that? So we gotta jump like that? Movement has been a consistent area of focus and innovation for Nah, Chad, now this is cool. Chad, Chad, this is cool. Thank you for the follow there, Liam. For the first time ever, players can sprint in any direction and move like a true Black Ops action hero with an entire. No way, he said. Th this is good. This is this is an improvement. This, this is an improvement. To move like never before and seamlessly chain combat. I miss us either gonna be insanely OP. Our enhanced supine prone in full 360 degrees range Ooh. of motion. I miss us either gonna be insanely OP or ass with this shit. And then realize people actually move that way. What happens if we get rid of that construct? And then movement's completely gonna change, Chad. Are you guys ready for this? Any direction, then you can dive in any direction. You could slide in. Make Spain, my bro. Which then led to all the on the ground movement and That's insane. Chaining together. But bro, we throw a grenade to someone's head, my bros. That that is that's quite it. That's quite it. I'm I'll be using that. I'll be using that. Something that changes how you think and play the game. Whether it's campaign, MP, or zombies, we truly believe that once you experience Omni movement, there's no going back. Omni movement, they call it. Cause they took it from Dragon Ball Z. That guy's name was Omni King or whatever. We also have what we're calling intelligent movement, which is a set of features that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing to perform oh. various movements. These can be enabled in player options, and they're broken down into three categories. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, bra, 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 bra! Can we just check this one's ADS sensitivity right there? Can we just go back a bit? Because I saw something special here, chat. Can we just like? Enabled in player options, and they're broken down in to perform various movements. These can be enabled in player options, and they're broken. All of Duty's devs are f bots, my bro. No fucking way, man. This guy, this is this guy's settings. Dude, there's no way. This what? 
that it's a bot. Broken down into three categories. Oh my goodness. Sprint assist, mantle assist, and crouch assist. And each of these settings will allow for fine tuning. Intelligent movement really started with this idea. I met this idea, buddy. All players to focus on what they want to do and not how to do it. We're watching the trailer. We want every player, regardless. By the way, boys, if you guys are on my YouTube, you might start getting AIDS if you're not sub. And live out their own action hero fantasy in Black Ops 6. We looked at other genres. Set up super excited for the movement, though. Great assist settings that can be turned on and off. Like but I just assist any more assist. assist. <laughs> I really love the idea of taking that thinking and applying it to our own movement options. They just want to make the game easier for the case world so that the, 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 the demons can't 360 no scope and run in circles. I don't know if you guys see today's demons. They just run in circles. I but I just assist is, 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 is insane. And I encourage players to play around with combos of these settings to really dial in their preferred setup. Hit zones are regions on a character that react when taking I like that the movement changed now. Games, we've only had four regions. For Black Ops 6, we've actually increased that. Oh! Regions. Oh! Shit! Now I'm gonna complain more. This guy was one shot in. So now we can determine if that enemy was shot in their left leg or right leg. And then we'll play a bespoke death animation depending on that location that they were hit. That's cool. That's cool. So world I turned the setting off though, but it's cool. Movement and reactions are connected to the world based on their choices. That's cool. A great this is a good really improvement. This is a, a quality of life improvement for the game chat. Where as you round a corner or go through a doorway, your weapon's gonna dynamically rotate in the direction that you're rounding that corner. And since it's dynamic, it'll be a bit more dramatic if you're slowly. It, it does look more tactical. If you're barreling full speed around that. Imagine that I will never be using the setting of walking like this around the corners, chat, and all you will see is be slight cancelling jump, slight cancelling jump. So I do not know who's gonna exactly benefit from this movement, the slow movement play. Um, but uh, metas might be. But um, so yeah, I, w I don't think we we're ever gonna use this. The the, the, the demons ever gonna use it? We are constantly looking for opportunities to set the bar with movement and animations in Black Ops 6. Take cover! Our, our team is super thrilled to show Treyarch you that. does do good game though, Chad. Treyarch does do good game. Through our process of photogrammetry, gear was acquired, scanned, and incorporated onto each of our operatives. For our faces, a dynamic real-time analysis of spontaneous performances was captured and processed to make every emotional impactful something in his nose to actual life. He made sure to have special attention to the cuticles. I just said, I'm, I, someone has to tell him. Freshly cut. There's dirt in between their nails and the oils on their palms. Someone has to tell him. Sweaty and running through. I'll be that guy. That they're in. Ooh. We're paying attention to every detail. Ooh, pastels. Oh, the fast make, the fast make, the fast make is big. The fast make is big. Did you guys see that? Ted, there's no way you guys are missing these small little details. Ted, W's in Ted, if you guys picking up what I'm saying. New weapons from the era that we've added, which includes many that are brand new to the franchise. Don't tell me you guys are missing it, Ted. And they operate outside the normal playbook. That means they're procuring gear by any means necessary. And it allowed us to pull a unique mix of weapons. We made sure to deliver dozens of unique for every gun and this allows the players to create a weapon to match any play style that you can imagine all while maintaining the feel and tone of the era oh that man is aimbot in black ops 6 we really strive for striking that balance between real and hyper real but we want to ground our effects in realism we find real world reference so that we can match that motion the weight the timing then riff off of that and create that hyper real look that everybody has come to know and love from Call of Duty. The Black Ops 6 user experience is all about focusing players. Ooh, that's a bleepy pranky city. They gotta put f pictures again in the UI chat. On what they need, when they need it. And our in-game HUD is no different. From the mini-map to the ammo widget to in-game notifications, the Black Ops 6 HUD combines some of our best designs in a clean, streamlined experience. 
For the first time in Call of Duty, players will be able to change their HUD. I mean, no one runs like this in Call of Duty. In dramatic ways to suit their needs. Oh wow, that's actually good, a good fixer. For instance, streamers can choose a layout optimized for their setup. I want mine to be exactly how it is. Centered so you don't have to look away. Want to play hardcore anywhere or finally put the mini map in the bottom left? Those are options as well. Not only does the HUD give players important status, it connects them to the world and helps them feel rewarded for being. That's, that is a cool feature. As players track that elusive challenge or Because as a streamer, there's a lot of times we have to f move our camera in the spot where the where the where the game the is on. Black Ops 6 delivers an end-to-end -end experience from the lobby into combat. Said by the way, are we buying this game? I don't know. And back where player progress and achievement are celebrated in a big way. Progression. So this has to be regarding like I've been reading a little bit up on this shit. This has to be regarding Call of Duty's prestigious in weapon progression. I'm assuming. Let's listen. Early on in Black Ops 6's development, we set a goal to make leveling and XP matter more than ever. Please do, because it's boring. Call of Duty and Black Ops catalog, there's a lot of love, both internally at Treyarch and that we see in our community for how we used to handle prestige. Ooh Traditional prestige is back in Call of Duty with Black Ops 6. We pulled the best of the best from past Call of Duty prestige systems and are going bigger and more rewarding than ever. Players who reach max player level will have the choice to enter Dude, prestige. Dude, start. Start fresh with new gear and go through the leveling journey. You get a you get a reason to prestige. prestige. That means all your guns set to zero. All your guns to zero. All everything to zero set. You have to play the game from over again because that's what prestige is about, Chet. That's what it used to be about in the old day when I used to play Call of Duty 4. Prestige. You start from the beginning, shit. Beginning. Each with a valuable set of rewards to earn and equip. And then you get new shit, though. You get new shit. Players who make it through Prestige 10 aren't done. Instead, they'll graduate into Prestige Master with a thousand additional levels to climb through, and a classified. We get it in a week. Cover for anyone dedicated enough to make it all the way to the end. The full Prestige. Let's get it with the Warzone, though. On day one. Hey, Conrad. Six. This is either where they f make it or they break it yet. We, we're gonna know now, is the modern, is the Black Ops 6 multiplayer gonna be good yet? Is it gonna be good? We know how many of our players look forward to multiplayer. It's literally all I play. And we will be providing a deep dive on it later in the year. For now, here's some insight into our development of Black Ops 6 multiplayer. Our vision since day one has been- You watch more videos on stream too. Engaging step change. I like it. Signature Black Ops multiplayer experience. Will it be an Xbox Game Pass? Apparently it will. Focused on supporting three core play styles for launch. Enforcers are the slayers who like to kill and stay on the move. Woo! Recon is all about intel. Oh, f that's OP. Wallex. Counter intel play. And strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win or focus on taking out enemy score streaks for the team. I think Call of Duty needs to adapt to this kind of style where um, we have a kind of aggressive player, support player, kind of whatever, like roles in the game. They, I think they need to build on that. Because currently, just everybody runs the same guns and do what they need to do, but enabled on, enabled on all the classes, you know? These play styles. And of course, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive those action hero moments in theater mode. Which we're happy to announce is returning. Adrian wants this. Can you just, um, just can you DM to Adrian? Theater mode is back. With Black Ops 6. Now I said we're only getting a taste of it. It doesn't carry over to Warzone. Black Ops 6 will. Uh, Black Ops 6 will be there on its game, so you can only grind the BO6 weapons in there. But okay, that's normal. But the guns will always come over to Warzone. But when it comes to Warzone, the weapons from BO6 will be integrated to Warzone 2. Yes, but it makes sense. Read the blog post in six, uh, see it says there. MP today, but Which of the prestiges don't carry over? Of course that means you're gonna get Baloney. some early details on maps. We're happy to announce that we will- Am I allowed to say what I want to say? Okay, man, can I not? She looks like Wasila now. 
be launching with 16 all new maps. We've got 12 66 and four strike maps, which can be played as 66 or 2v2. What do players like? What do we know that they want? Am I gonna get cancelled? I don't know. So we're back to our classic three lane maps. We've got fast, frenetic experiences, and we have that balance with more medium. I feel like that's how Wasila looks like. Is like better for hardcore pacing to keep the action flowing, but still my my food of thought decisions for the player to make. The maps have their own stories, and we have multiplayer taking place after the campaign, after you finish it. So don't want to get into too many spoilers there, but you'll experience some of those locations through the multiplayer lens. We covered a lot today, but couldn't leave you without giving you just one more thing. Oh, what's the last one? Warzone. Something about Warzone. Ah, f zombies. They said it's gonna be turn based. Please not open world zombies. 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 No one wants open world zombies. Round based zombies is back. Yes! Picking up the yes! 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 No one wants open world zombies. We want round by zombies. That is what zombies is all about, Chet. We don't want any kind of other zombies because that's what zombies is, Chet. Please. 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 We're excited to announce that there will be two. Who wanted the open world zombies? Look, it was a cool idea, but they 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 didn't land it, so it's ass. New map. I'm just saying. At launch, with a curated mix of fan favorite features and new elements to discover. For those new to zombies, it's our unique take on the co-op board mode where every map is packed full of powerful weapons and upgrades deadly you do that and tons of two, two. thank you i appreciate the love and support <laughs> sorry for making you work it's incredibly important to treyarch and we are so proud of what the mode is bringing to players in black ops 6. as you've heard today the innovations and movement systems will also be coming to the oh zombies. did you see the little tiny feet pop up when it's inspected it just goes like this uh so cute you want to see that this is rewatch it this is rewatch it as you incredibly important enemies Tons of this was a cute stuff. little big jump. The legacy of zombies is incredibly important to Treyarch. New movement looks so sick, my bro. Mode is bringing to players in Black Ops 6. As you've heard today, the innovations and movement systems will also look how cute these toes looks, my bro. It's, imagine camos with boots on, boot camos, Ted. The toes off when you jump backwards, you can see your cool little like neon light boots. Becoming to zombies. Hey everyone. Plus. There are many additional zombie specific features. I'm just saying it, it will be a banger. Have some Nikes on some pick, you know. There's both new and returning. This is going to be a truly epic return for round based <laughs> zombies. Be on the lookout for more intel coming later this year. Steph interviewed AB Mark. Now we know we only gave you a little taste of multiplayer here today. So but some sure Jordans exactly Andrew. For our worldwide multiplayer reveal event at Call of Duty next on August 28th. Make sure to stay tuned for details and watch your favorite streamers get hands-on Black Ops 6 so you can be prepped and ready to jump into our MP. Are they also making me come? For yourself. Am I also coming? We'll be sharing so much more about Black Ops 6. Am I invited? Months and look forward to seeing your reactions and your feedback from our open beta coming up this fall and into launch. And it's not just about launch because the team... Um team is already focused on delivering a ton of know, live seasons which we'll be sharing more about am i allowed to talk about warzone yes yes we are allowed to talk about war it's the only reason we are watching this whole video because we want to hear something about warzone and you've been delaying it for the last what is it two minutes of the one minute of the video so what what can you possibly tell us in one minute my bro For dance, for dance, for dance. Something that is the best work we've ever done. For dance. Frankly, the most fun to play. To do that, we deconstructed all of our gameplay, our systems, and content plans, and repeatedly asked how something could be better. Okay. Okay. In some cases, that led us to huge innovations. Like, like that, we love that. Now That's amazing. Players to move how real people and operators move. I'm pretty sure no one jumps backwards in real life because you will break your neck and die. But it's okay. Real life people move like that. 
In other cases, it led us back to some of our classic systems like Prestige. Then taking that classic system through the ringer and making updates and improvements. Across our weapons, gear, operators, maps, and more, a huge push has been to hit the highest... I thought she was going to say something about wars on my bro. That lady literally like made us... Click baited us into the last minute of this video and literally not talking about Warzone right now. Am I tripping? Audio fidelity possible. The campaign tells an all new Black Ops story where you're forced to go rogue and are being hunted by the teams that Am I lost? On top of that, the team is really focused on mission and engagement variety. Multiplayer is a key ingredient in the DNA of okay. Black Ops and hopefully in this sneak peek it was clear that every single part of the MP game loop will be improved and better and than free ever, to play from movement to shooting and free to play steps to engagement systems to death and last but definitely not least the triumphant return of round based zombies there is so much more to share across all three game modes before the game officially launches on October 25th on behalf of the entire team, yeah. we can't wait for you to play Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Oh, it, it looks like we might be playing. You are hyping me up right now to play it, so I would like to purchase it. After I pay my editor. Mother said something about Warzone. Nothing about Warzone said. Nux! Nux! Next one was only said so that was our conclusion to the new was